Hello Bibliophiles, this is Shraddha, welcome back to my channel. I noticed that for a long time now we've been uh, talking about books and then we have uh, uh, chatting with author series. We did not do something new and to change that I thought let's you know just do something new, it's been a while right? So I thought let's just do a book haul and I'm so excited to do this, I'm so excited to show you all the new books I bought. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first book that I bought is actually a paperback. It's The Tattooist of Oskowitz. I actually pronounce this as Oskowitz. I do not know how you do it. I just do it Oskowitz because it seems right. This is a back. It's not that pretty. I'm not even show, show, I'm showing this to you. Wow, I said short in such a weird way now. <laughs> I can be so weird sometimes. And the next one is Fallen Academy by Leah Stone. Uh, first let me show you the inside. There's just some really cool art in there, like this. And there are so many more, I just have to find them. I should have marked them before starting this video, but you know, I'm so stupid. The next one, there's one more, I saw it. I saw it somewhere. And no, I haven't uh, finished reading it yet, but uh, when you see, I'll show you how I saw it, okay? This is one other. But when I actually see the books like this, you can see that there's this particular black thing here. So it's easier to make up that this art there. I haven't read it yet, but I still know there's art in there. <laughs> and how I stumbled across Leah Stone is kind of interesting. So basically, I was reading a lot of vampire novels at that time. I do not read much fantasy now. I'm reading a lot more contemporary and classics now. So anyway, uh, at that time, I was reading a lot of vampires and I was starting to getting a little bored. It was getting so same and so similar. So I thought I needed to get ask and I needed some recommendations, okay? So I thought, okay, let's just ask from my favorite vampire author. She's one of my favorite vampire authors and I think you can guess it. Yes, it was Lee. So I texted her that I'm like, okay, I do not have any recommendations. I don't have any book to read. Could you please recommend me some? And she told me about Leah Stone. So that's how I started reading Leah Stone. See, it was a long story, but I said it so fast. I don't think it, it even made a little sense. But uh, to sum it all up, Lee Walker was the reason I read Leah Stone. Okay? In few short words, short and sweet. I don't ever do it. I keep on stretching things. The next one is kind of my favorite, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Uh, this is a special edition hardcover. So I'll show you the hardcover first and then we can talk a little about the book. I've already read it. So this is the hardcover. The edges, if you see, are sprayed golden. How do you, yeah. I don't know how to spray the edges, but I think it's really cool. And for the inside art, it's not that pretty. Like, I have another book of the same category, just different author and stuff, but the inside art is much prettier. I'll show you, the next one is that. And yeah, these are some lines by Emily Bronte, and I think it was pretty cool to put it there. Yeah, that's it in this book that you had to see. Now, oh, I have to show you the back. The back's pretty cool. Can you see it? I think you can anyway. So uh, I read about the Heights, I think almost a year, year ago now, I think. I don't remember when, I think it's not, it's an year now. Almost an year, I don't remember, okay? I just don't keep track of how long ago I read a book. So basically, I liked it so much that if I show you my edition of Wuthering Heights, it's right here. It's all marked up. On my 13th birthday, my mother got me this, like these line markers, and I do not add an opener book, so I think these were a lifesaver for me. And ergo, I marked all the pages in this paperback edition that I think changed the course of the story. Not my favorite stuff, okay? It's so difficult to pick out a favorite scene in this book. I mean, it's it's so dark sometimes. I'll show you. I think these, um, like, I don't know why am I showing the paperback edition. This is a book haul. Huh. Anyway, I was just showing you that these line markers are cool and my whole body height is marked. So I wanted your advice if I should move these markers from here to here. Or should I keep them here? I, mean, I, just, I was just so confused. Or should I mark them both? And another thing, do you annotate your books? I don't because I never really saw the appeal. But if you do, just let me know. And do you think I should annotate my books as well? I actually plan on annotating my We Were Liars, but then I did. I didn't like, I tapped out. <laughs> Coming on to uh, next one that I uh, said this was kind of similar to this one. It's the greatest comedies of Shakespeare and again the edges are sprayed golden. It's a collectible hardcover and you know one of the prettiest things I like these figurines whatever you call these things over here 
This one looks like a fairy. I think this is Midnight Summer Dream or something. I haven't read it. Okay, so I really don't know. And this is what I was talking about. I think this thing is pretty cool. I did not like this gardenish thing in here. I really do not see the appeal. But this thing here, I this is what I think is cool. And yeah, that's the same thing is on the back, so nothing more. And I'm so excited to get this one started because I love Shakespeare and a funny story actually. I wanted to buy greatest tragedies of Shakespeare. So basically it was the same thing, but the whole thing was red. So I thought that golden looks cooler than red, but I forgot to read that the, this comedies is there, not tragedies. So instead of tragedies, I get comedies. Well, now the next one is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. This is a series that I can say that Bookstagram have made me do it because I find so many reels, so many posts about this one. So I just had to get it. Anyway, uh, I'll show you the box set first. This is the box set. I got the whole box set instead of buying a single one. This is the back and these are all the author reviews. Okay, now the speciality about this book set, you cannot actually pull a book out. No, you do some creativity, you shake it, shake it, shake it. Ta-da! <laughs> the books are out. And you, you actually can't pull it out. I don't know why, because they're so tightly packed, but that's why. But I don't know why I'm saying why. Anyway, uh, so that's how you get the books out. And I'll show you. I actually think that I just made this video the funniest video I've ever made by shaking the whole box set. <laughs> anyway, it's a retelling for Beauty and the Beast. And Beauty and the Beast is my favorite fairy tale of all times. I just love that one so much. I'll show you the books one by one. The first book. What one is the second book? I don't know anything about the series yet, so okay, I just can't tell you what the second book is. I need reference. The second one and the third one. And if I show you the spines together, I think these spines are so cool. These are by far the most unique spines I have in my library. These look so cute, right? I like them, especially this whatever you call this. I call it the CD effect. I like to call it the CD effect, though I'm pretty sure it's not what you call them. But, you know, it's cool to say they give a CD effect. <laughs> Anyways, and uh, this was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And if you did, then do not forget to smash the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Also, sharing is caring, so also share this video as well. And one more thing, which book that I just bought or which I just showed you was your favorite? Let me know. I'm dying to know which one's your favorite. For me, it's kind of all of them, but, 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 I'm actually going to say this one because I have already read Wuthering Heights for starters, so I know what the story is about, and it's nice to have a collectible edition of the book that you adore, right? So, yeah, this is going to be my most favorite one in this video. So, this was it for this video. I'll see you guys soon, as I said. Till then, start reading.